Hey, welcome to Open Lab. Well, we're gonna review over the bones, and this one is on the skull. So we have here Mr. Larry Skull, Mr. Larry Skull, <laughs> and I'm gonna show you his frontal lobe. So this is the frontal lobe, this front part right here. You have the superciliary ridges, which are these right here, where the eyebrows would go. The superciliary ridges. You have the corona suture, which is oh goodness, this little line right there. That's the corona suture. Yes. Then we have the frontal sinus. If I pop his skull up a little bit, this area right here, this flat area. Let me go like this. This area right here. This is where the frontal sinus would be. Okay. We have the parietal bone, which is this one right here. You have the coronal suture again, which is this one right here. And you have the sagittal suture, which goes down right here. And you have the lambdoidal suture, which is in the back. This is the lambdoidal suture. Then on the side, you would have the La lambdoid oh, the scramosal suture. So this is the scramosal suture. The one in the back is the lambdoidal suture, the sagittal suture, then the coronal suture. Perfect. We have the temporal lobe, which is the side of the head. And you have the mastoid process, which is the little bump right here. In the back is the mastoid process. You have the scramous portion, which is the flat area behind the, the temporal there. It's a flat part in the back. That's the squamous portion. You have the zygomatic process, which is this area right here. This is the zygomatic process. You have the external auditory meatus, which is this hole right here. That's where your ear is. You have the mandibular fossa, which is this little flat area right here. Then you have the styloid process, which is, oh goodness, this little pointy st like stiletto. Let's see. Uh, this right there, you see it? Yes, that's the styloid process. <laughs> then you have two holes that you need to know. Okay, I'm gonna get really close here. This right here, oh goodness. The there you go. The struggle. <laughs> this is the carotid canal. This one right here, and it's also in this side right here. It's hard to see it without actually looking at it. Okay, this is the carotid canal. Then behind that, this bigger one right here, this is the jugular foramen. That right there. Perfect. Then, if you look inside right here, this area right here, this is called the petrous portion. And this is the, where the inner ear would be. The inner ear would be contained within this bone area. This is the petrous portion. Then, you have the struggle. Oh, the struggle is the so real. The struggle right is now. so real. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I got you. I got you. I got okay. You. All right. All right. This is a simple lamb. <laughs> This is the simple, not the lobe, the bone. Simple bone. This back one, right, back side right here. This little bump right here. This is called the external occipital protuberance. So the external occipital protuberance. This, and then in the back here, you have the occipital condyles, and this is where your vertebra would sit on. So that's how your head would connect to the vertebra through here. Then your spinal cord will enter this hole, and this hole is called the foramen magnum. It's big, foramen magnum. It's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> then over here, this is called the sphenoid bone. It has wings. So, <laughs> this area right here, this is called the body. This is the body. You have the greater wings, which are the bigger ones. Then you have the lesser wings, which are the smaller ones right here. You have the Sela which is this little 
indention right here that's kind of like wavy. So you have this, this is the Sela Tertica. Then you have the optic foramen, which is this little hole right here. Optic foramen. And if you look in the skull, whew, there's little, the little holes right there. And if I put through a hole right there, it goes to the eye. Creep. Creepy. Creepy. <laughs> Optic foramen. <laughs> then you have the sphenoid sinus which sits on this indentions on the greater wings. That's where the sphenoid sinus would sit on. Then we have the ethmoid bone, which is this little guy right here. You have the crystagalli, which is, I'll go do it side view. This little top bump right here. This is, this, this is the crystagalli. Then, Beside the crystal galley, there's a, a little indention. Oh, okay, going really close. This right here on the sides, which has these little tiny holes, this is called the cribiform plate. Then on the bottom, you see that little pointy thing right there? That's right there. That is called the perpendicular plate. Then you have the ethmoid sinus, which sits on the cribiform plate. So on top, the ethmoid sinus sits on top of that. Okay? So that's the ethmoid bone. We have the, um, here on the head, we have the nasal bone, which is the top part right here. Then you have the lacrimal bone, which is on the side, like right before the eye. This is the lacrimal bone. And you right here, there's a little hole. See that hole right there? That's the lacrimal sulcus, and that's where your tears would go into and go into your nose, which is which produces mucus. <laughs> so that's that's why when you cry, your nose stuff stuffs up because those tears are going through your lacrimal sulcus to go into your nose. A visual for you. <laughs> then you have the vomer. This is this little bone right through the middle, which connects your two nasal holes. So this is the vomer. You have the inferior nasal contra, which are these bottom folds right here. So the, this is the inferior nasal contra. You have the zygomatic bones, where these are your cheekbones. Zygomatic bones. You have the palatine bone. Okay. This back, the back portion of your, of your mouth. This back part right here, this is called the palatine bone. Or, this area here is also called the horizontal plate. And this palatine bone is behind the maxilla. So this whole thing right here is called the maxilla. You have the maxillary sinus which sits behind the bone right here. You have the palatine process, which is the front part right here. This is the palatine process. You have the alveolar processes, that's where your teeth would go into. So that's your alveolar processes. You have the anterior nasal spine, which is this bump at the bottom of your nose. The anterior nasal spine. And then you have the inferior orbital fissure, which is, goes, is this bottom part of the eye. This little hole right here. Uh, right there. There we go. That's the inferior orbital fissure. Then, oh, totally forgot a mandible. Wait a minute. Ah! Did we get a mandible? Mandible. Mandible. Bam. I'm back. Okay. This is the mandible. This is the body. This front area here is called the body. You have the mental foramen, which is that hole. You see that hole right there? That's the mental foramen. You have the angle, which is this corner right here. This is the angle. See? See my angle? It's a beautiful angle. It is. It is beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> this is, ah, thank you. So this is the angle of the mandible. This is the ramus, which is the, this area right here that goes straight down. This is the ramus. You have the mandibular condyles, 
is this thing right here and it connects into the mandibular fossa on your skull. So it goes marm marm marm. See fossa. Mufasa. No for real. <laughs> I thought you said Mufasa. I, I, I did. I did. <laughs> the mandibular fossa mufasa. Yes. That's literally so this is the mandibular condyles and then the area where your teeth is called the alveolar processes. Yeah. Then this is your fetal skull. This is baby Larry Jr. Skeleton. Yes. So this is on this one. You have to know the fontanelles, which there are only four. So you have here this area right here. This is the anterior fontanelle. Then on the back, you have the posterior fontanelle. Then you have the mastoid fontanelle because your mastoid process would be right here. So this is the mastoid fontanelle. And then right here, this is the sphenoidal fontanelle because your sphenoid pos your sphenoid bone would be right here. So this is the sphenoidal fontanelle. Then oh we have the where is it? The hyoid bone. This is on the neck. Which is on which is the separate of all the other bones. So just wait a minute. Sorry, sorry. Making it. This is Bob Skeleton. There he is. He's back. Okay, I'm gonna move the computer right. closer to him because you need to see. Oh. Is hyoid bone. So this right bone right here. This is the hyoid bone. Yeah. There it is. And that is it. This is Oh mercy. Mercy. This is lab what four? Lab four. This is lab four for you. Good luck. <laughs>